Okay, I want to address this comment because you're right. 30's not old. But I literally cried on my 27th, uh, 27th birthday. Nobody cares! Because I could no longer say mid-20s. I'd officially be in my late 20s. Nobody cares! Okay, so this is how deep the is for women. Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares. And K Jane 700, I don't know. You seem like a Karen. The K is probably for Karen, I don't know. But I'm telling you, like in the entertainment industry, 30 is considered old. Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And, um, dude, the guy I buy my vapes off of, every time I, every time he cards me, well, I literally, I actually stopped going to him, but he used to card me every single time, and he'd always be like, 32, huh? Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Sweetie, I agree. Being 32 is not old if... We're looking at age as a number. However, if 16 of those 32 years were filled with booze, partying, illegal spices, multiple eggplants, and so much garden tooling, that a 32-year-old woman looks like she's pushing 50, well, your youth argument becomes invalid. Ladies. The next time a guy is bothering you and you don't want to have to give him the whole I'm not interested or, you know, I have a partner sort of situation because let's be honest, they're still going to try. Just immediately go to the crazy. For example, I was walking below and this guy was like, oh, hey, hey, hey. And I just looked at him and he was like, hey, what's your name? And I turned to him and I went, <laughs> he wants to know our name. The laces say they like you. Ma'am, my name is Inquisitor Hector Tex, and it is my sad duty to inform you that you've been possessed by a greater demon of Slanish. In accordance with inquisitorial procedure, I will now destroy your entire planet. May the God Emperor have mercy on your soul, because I sure as hell ain't gonna. I did a whole experiment on this, going from 3 to 15. What? 15. Bruh. And I can tell you with 100% certainty, size does not matter. I want to revisit this question because I did it again, and it went. Like, it went there. You could see it. It, it went. So, I had stitches. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Yeah, at this point, I think they're doing this kind of stuff just for shock value. That makes sense to me. Anyway, in Romania, we have a saying for this sort of thing. Fofoloanca harcha parcha. And... We don't mess with that kind of stuff. My boyfriend left, and he left his laptop here. Big mistake. And I opened it to watch Netflix, and his text messages were just up. This man just has text messages from 2012 in here. I have a bowl of chicken noodle soup in all night. He can't, he can't think that I'm not going to read all those. Jeff, when he was 14 years old, trying to flirt with a girl? Are you kidding me? Guys, some parts of your life should always be private. Because you see, in any cohabitating relationship, everything you say or do gets logged and sometimes recorded in order to be used against you at a later date. Especially if you're married. So, if you're the kind of guy that gave her the passwords to all your social media because you have nothing to hide from your loving wife, guess what? That's evidence she's gonna use against you in the divorce. You get a divorce that is split apart, you now have two people on opposite teams who are enemies. Because you see, she's your loving wife, right up until the point she's not. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sit so. 